Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, and it goes like this. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not be faint. Today's verse is a promise from God that and I've tried to keep it, but honestly, I struggle. I struggle with it. I never have been one to wait very good. No, if I wanted it uh, tomorrow, I'd, I'd go get it tomorrow. I, I've just never been good at waiting, but age has come on me and I'm, I'm more patient now than I've ever been. But you know, many times, we're placed in a holding pattern, much like an airline pilot. Uh, you can't see what's going on below, but there's a reason why you can't land safely. And so you just circle and circle and circle. And I've been placed in them holding patterns in the old airplanes uh, many, many times. And you just don't know what's going on. But... The pilot does. And we have to, you know, we put our faith in that pilot that he's going to uh, get us down safely. And uh, we have to do the same thing with the Lord. We have to trust him when he puts us in a, in a holding pattern. You know, maybe today you feel like you've been treated unfairly or the business deal you knew that would go through it just poof and it, it went away. Or that promotion that you was expecting, all of a sudden it didn't happen. You prayed for your health or for someone else and one of your loved ones or friends and they never did get healed. Just They just stayed sick. You know, all the doors you wanted to open seemed to be just nailed solid shut. You may be wondering where, where God is in the midst of all of these trials. And I'm, how do I respond to them? You know, that's, that's the tough one. How do I respond? You know, if God has you in a holding pattern today, remember, he puts a premium on patience and perseverance. Adversities can bring possibilities that you could never imagine in your life. Wait on the Lord. We have to trust him today. Remember, he knows what the future holds. You and I don't. Oh, sometimes we think we do, but we don't know what tomorrow brings for us. No. You know, James chapter 1, verse 12 tells us, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which is which the Lord hath promised to them that love them. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. Don't give up. No, God has you in a holding pattern for some reason. Just keep trusting him. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yeah, he died on that cross for us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.